Hello, good people. Welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. How are you guys today? Thank you for joining me on this video. We're going to talk about emotionally healing on a raw vegan diet. We often talk about the physical healing properties of a raw vegan diet, which are immense and innumerable. In fact, it's interesting, people will contact me a couple times a week, more even sometimes asking about skin disorders and psoriasis, because I've talked about this. And when you research healing skin disorders online, it leads you down this rabbit hole to nowhere. It leads you to information that says there is no cause and there is no cure. And the only thing you can do is use steroid creams for the rest of your life. And you read forums and one person uh, takes salt out of their diet and heals their psoriasis. The next person puts salt into their diet and heals psoriasis. It's a minefield of chaos. What really truly heals our body is raw living foods, detoxifying the gut, physically cleaning out our cells so that we can uh, reproduce and and generate the, the energy necessary and the cleansing and the detoxification naturally and necessary to eliminate these toxins that are causing skin inflammation. But that's the physical healing process, okay? The emotional healing process is when we have to feel what we don't want to feel, okay? We turn to cooked foods to hide, to numb ourselves out, to avoid our pain, to avoid feeling what we don't want to feel. We do this with all of our addictions, of course. We do this with food and we do it with alcohol and caffeine. You have an alcohol habit at night yourself? Do you have a caffeine habit in the morning? This is another form of how we hide from our feelings. When we stay raw vegan long term, when we go on to a juice fast or do a detox and we're not allowing ourselves cooked food or alcohol or caffeine, we are face facing, we come face to face with that part of ourself which we don't want to feel, the trauma, uh, and the limitations, the survival strategies of the past. If you're interested in these types of topics, you should subscribe to my channel, Raw Vegan Rising. This is what I love to talk about. I love to help people understand the deeper nuances of healing and transitioning uh, their lifestyle with raw foods and detoxification and taking their vibration, their energy, and their understanding of who they are to the next level. Okay, so the emotional detoxification journey is really what people call the healing crisis. It's not just physical. Because our bodies can handle the physical aspects very well most of the time. Most of us are pretty physically uh, capable. But when you combine that with emotional breakdown, emotional sensitivity, feeling what we don't want to feel, pain and trauma of the past, this is what creates the real healing crisis. Bringing us face to face with our traumas and our limitations. And when we have nowhere to hide, we have to face it. We have to grow past it. This is uncomfortable. This is personal development work. This is personal uh, leadership development. And it's really ultimately shadow work. Shadow work is the quickest way to find our personal development, to find leadership in ourselves. Because when we have nowhere to hide, when we're face to face with parts of ourselves that we've denied, that we don't want to look at, that hurt to look at, that is uncomfortable and it's profound at the same time. That's why we can use raw food to grow so quick. That's why we can use juice fasting to rocket our personal development to the next level. You know, are you someone who has a calling in your life to be a shining light, to be a light worker, bring truth, hope, information to other people to help them grow and alleviate the pain that we see? Do you want to help people feel better and alleviate the traumas and pain that they are in? Well, I know I do, you know. And juice fasting is one of the quickest ways we can do this. Juice fasting is a turbo button for personal development because it just brings us right into alignment with our, with our limiting patterns of the past that we use over and over again. We have these survival strategies of the past that we've been taught from our parents, taught from past uh, family lineages. These traumas have been laid at our feet. It's not our fault. And then these are imprinted in us and we use these survival strategies over and over again, not realizing it. Juice fasting, detoxification and raw food is like hooking into a vision of the future saying, I'm not going to create from the past anymore. I'm going to create 
myself from my highest divine potential. I'm going to create with the power of, you know, mother nature, natural law and God on my side. So I have a, a something to share with you that's really cool. Okay, I have a membership, Raw Vegan Heroes, and a member today in my membership shared a post about her emotional breakdown, her healing crisis, and I wanted to share it with you. Okay, so this was posted today from a member who is on a juice fast in Raw Vegan Heroes. Let me read this to you. She says, this is surrender juice. I went from feeling on top of the world, enjoying the juice and the hint of freedom I felt to total and complete devastation. This last week has been really tough, like hard, hard. Dealing with a teen, trying to heal from sexual trauma from her father, and recently people I thought were friends. She's safe, we're safe, it's been handled legally. A sick dog and having the ones I thought were supportive of juicing back me into this, this isn't another eating disorder thing, is it? Corner. I'm also coming to terms that I've basically lost the career I worked so hard for 13 years to build due to COVID, I feel like I've lost everything. Almost 40 and back home with my parents, with my daughter and dogs. All my beautiful belongings shoved into a storage building. I've binged. I've cried. I've hid. I've almost come out of my skin. Last night, I drank two glasses of wine and hated myself for every sip. I'm hurting physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. I give up. I surrender. The only way out of this hell hole has got to be freedom. I can't count on those in my personal life to support this. I'm going to drink this juice, hug my pillow, hug my pup, and rest in this feeling of not knowing what to do next, except stick to what I came to this group to do, heal. My heart goes out to this member. I wanted to share this because this is a perfect example of emotional healing on raw food. When we are on a juice fast, we have nowhere to hide. And so it brings up all of these patterns. What she's talking about is emotional trauma and patterns of the past. Back home at 40, worst fear, worst case scenarios coming true. Old patterns, not being able to move past these patterns that have us stuck, right? But she's committed to surrendering. And that's the key here. Understanding that breakthrough happens after we break down to break through is the saying, right? When we are in a state of breakdown, we are close to our breakthrough. And all we have to do is surrender, surrender to the power of juices and raw foods, because in these juices, they have things that support our physical body, support our emotional clarity, support our mental stamina. You know, the extra hydration, the minerals, the oxygen, the hormones, the enzymes that flood our body allow us to really feel the support from the universe. And even though we might be in breakdown and we don't know where to go next, it's going to guide us. Juice fasting guides us even in the worst breakdown that we are having. So we really need to turn to the juice, turn to raw food, lean into it, heavily trust it, heavily lean into it and realize that it's going to get us out. When we are face to face with feeling what we don't want to feel, we have to go through it to break through to the other side. And there we will find our personal development, our leadership, you know. So this member is in her shadow work right now. It's an incredible journey to witness. It's so painful and so exciting. I've been coaching people through this process since uh, since 2017. I've witnessed a lot of people go through this healing crisis, through this emotional detoxification. I've gone through it myself, and all I can say is it's worth it. It's worth every single second of investment. I highly encourage everyone do it. I have a membership set up to support people through this process. We've got about 200 members in the group right now, Raw Vegan Heroes. It's amazing. And this share from this member shows she's opening up, leaning into the group, leaning into the juice fast, leaning into the coaching. Raw Vegan Heroes is amazing. It's maybe the best support for juice fasting and detoxification on the planet right now. And it is very accessible to everyone, very affordable. Go on my website and check it out for yourself. There is a link in the description to my membership. Check it out if you're feeling the call to detox, to go through the emo emotional breakthrough, to face your shadow, to do shadow work, to become a leader in your own life. I highly encourage you to think about becoming a raw vegan and getting support in Raw Vegan Heroes on your journey.
I hope this message is helpful. I really, really, really believe and trust the process of raw food to heal us emotionally and to get out of this, um, you know, this, this low energy that all of us are feeling with COVID and everything going on in the world. So many people are, are struggling. And instead of struggling, we really just need to take on our shadow. We really need to just own how bad it really is. Own how limited we really are. Own how much pain we really come uh, carry around with us. And I want you under to understand my parting message right now is that our pain and our trauma of the past is not something that we are better than. We don't grow past it. We bring it along. We own it. We look at it. We build from it. We build off of it. It can be the foundation of your life. It can be the foundation of your breakthrough of who you are. So it's not something that we leave behind. It's something that we embrace and bring along with us. And that is true leadership. That's true personal development when we bring our shadow with us. We open the closet, we shed light on the darkness, and we bring it along. That's true healing. And raw foods and juice fasting and detoxification helps us at the highest level possible to do this, to become the warriors, the truth seekers, the light workers that are going to shed light on this world. Okay, if that's one of you, come along. We're doing this together. Join Raw Vegan Heroes. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Much love and blessings to everyone. Have a great day, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.